Hi everyone, this is Dave with Foamers.net. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about how to back up your WordPress database and how to restore your database with PHP, uh, my admin, through your cPanel uh, with your hosting. I don't have to tell you, you know, how important it is to have a, a backup of your database and to back up your database regularly. Your database stores everything from, you know, all this content here on our sample page, for example, and, uh, you know, your links, uh, any comments, anything that you've ever added to your website is stored in that database. Uh, so if you're updating your, your site regularly, uh, you'll want to do regular uh, you know, schedule regular backups for that database. Uh, and it's pretty easy to do through your cPanel, and that's what this tutorial is going to be about. So let's get right into it. The first thing you want to do is um, log in to your cPanel here. So let's go to our cPanel here. We use HostGator. We've been using HostGator for over 12 years. They never let us down. It's uh, They're a very good host. Uh, so we'll log in. And uh, cPanel and HostGator look something like this. Uh, if you're using Bluehost or GoDaddy, uh, it's going to look a little bit different, but um, the process is basically the same. You're going to want to find, you know, this PHP My Admin uh, icon and click on that. And that'll take us to our databases. Quickly, uh, now we're at our databases, and then in, in certain um, you know, depending on, on what, what type of setup you have, you may have multiple instances of WordPress, which will have multiple databases. In this case, on um, this domain, we have four different ones. Uh, but um, we're just going to, what you're going to do is just look for yours and you're going to click on one of these databases. In this case, we're backing up uh, this one, the top one right here. So we just click on that one. And then here, uh, you'll, you'll notice all the tables and all these tabs up here. And this is basically the structure of the database. Uh, and what we're going to do is back it up. So we are going to click on export, which is right here. And once you do that, you'll see that this little radio uh, button here, it's already been checked with quick. Um, you, you can do the custom one, but it's it's uh, it's just as good to do the quick for, for these purposes. Uh, all you need to do is just the, the quick uh, display only the, the minimal options. Uh, the format, you want to make sure that it stays on SQL. And then you want to just hit go. And that will back up the database. Um, it already will come pre-named probably with the name of your, um, you know, uh, your website or whatever you you named it on when you originally installed the database uh, for, for WordPress so then we just save that and that will um, be saved right here in our local computer I already saved it once so I'm gonna override that save and now the, everything everything's backed up you've backed up your database and you're basically you're, you're done so the next thing is I'm just going to uh, demonstrate how to restore the database in case things get lost. So let's see uh, now a worst case scenario somehow we'll go back to structure here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll click on, on check all, check all my tables. And then with that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop, I'm going to say drop all the tables and it's going to ask me, do you really want to do this? It's going to delete everything that I have on, on that side. And I want to say yes, just, just for this um, demo here. And that's going to delete everything. You notice that all the tables that I had here, they're, they're gone now. And just to prove it to you, we'll go back to the, to the website here. This is the actual website. And we will, you know, try to go home again. And it'll say, you know, uh, welcome to WordPress, where, where it's asking you to install you know the database and everything from scratch so so the site's gone this is worst case scenario now we need to restore it and the way we do that is we're going to go back into php my admin now and we're going to import we're going to click on import and here we're going to browse down to uh, where we saved that file which is here we're going to click on it and open that file and then we're going to hit go. You, you can't really see it here, but let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Uh, you still can't see it, but we're going to hit go here. There's a little button that says go here after you've uh, selected your file. And that is going to import all, all that information that you had because you made that backup. And as you can see, all my tables are back 
on track here everything's fine and we're gonna go back to the website now and just to to see that see if everything went back the way it was originally and we see now that there it is everything's okay all my content is still there uh, nothing is missing and that is such a relief especially uh, if that actually ever happens and you need to uh, do something to to um, to put everything back as quickly as, as possible now if you're still a little bit afraid to do this on your own or you think you're gonna break the website if you're not sure how to, uh, how to update to the latest version of, of WordPress um, you know feel free to write us uh, uh, an email at sales uh, the word sales at uh, foamers.net or uh, you can even uh, leave a comment here below if this was um, if, if this tutorial was helpful uh, leave me a comment and let me know uh, I would really appreciate that and thank you very much